Good morning, church, and uh, welcome to our morning devotion. Here is a short, short devotion. Okay, Acts chapter thirteen and verse twenty-two. It's a great verse. Okay, here God calls David a man after my own heart. Okay, in the Bible, there's only one man whom God calls a man after His own heart. When we see David's life today, we'll talk about some of the. We'll glean into the David's life and learn some of the lessons in the life of David. David's life uh, began very humble. He had a humble beginnings. He was a simple shepherd taking care of his sheep. When Samuel came to anoint the next king, his father did not even consider him to be the choice for the king. So so was so was David and his beginnings. In fact, his brothers mocked him when he said he could able to kill Goliath. They said, "How can you kill Goliath? You are you are the youngest among us." And we also see, even after he killed Goliath, there was Saul who chased him throughout most of his life as he was running from Saul. Such was David's life. But God saw something in David, but nobody saw. And that's beautiful, isn't it? Like God sees something in us that nobody else could see. And we see David was chosen by God in the midst of all that he went through in his life. David was chosen by God in 2 Samuel chapter 5 he was become the king over Israel and as he was as he becomes the king he writes something very amazing that I was meditating this morning as I was reading and these are some amazing thoughts and we could develop some lessons through these verses it says in fact in 2 uh, Samuel 5 and so David went on and became great it's, that's why isn't it amazing? God makes us great and David became great in the sight of the people because of God. And the first lesson we will see in this verse is the second part. It says that David became great because the Lord of God was with him. And that's so important. The first lesson I want to bring this morning is like the Lord God was with David. David knew in every thin and thick that he went through in his life. That he knew that God was with him. He never left him. Whether he was in the cave of Adullam. Whether he was in Jiklag. Or whatever situation he was in. But he knew that God was with him. And I was thinking today as believers. What a privileged people we are. Like God is with us. And no matter what we go through in our lives. The trials we go through. Even in this pandemic. Like so much of chaos in this world. But we know one thing that God is with us. We can be encouraged. Even the things that are happening today in this world. People losing jobs. There's no security about what is future going to be for people in the, in the, in the secular jobs and everything. But one thing is assured is God is never leaving us nor forsake us. What an amazing thing. And David understood this. And today we could also take this as a lesson that no matter what happens, remember, it's not time to panic. It's time to trust God and believe God that He will never leave us nor forsake us. That's a great lesson, isn't it? The second lesson we see in verse 12, part 8. And it says, So David knew that the Lord had established him as king over his life. The second thing that we see, David understood it is God who made him the king over Israel. It's no man. And so important even in our in our lives, it's God who gives us promotions. Bible says promotions and positions comes from God. It never from man. And in fact, Peter said in Acts chapter 5 verse 29, he said, said, I would rather obey God than man. Because it's so important to understand that every place we are in today is because of God. God has established us. Like, isn't that amazing? We all could say, like 15 years or 10 years, 20 years, God has taken care of us. Where we are today is because God has established us. And that's amazing. As I look at my own life, like 20, 18 years, 20 years in, the, in, in, in knowing the Lord, and I could look and say, you know what? It is God who has brought me thus far. And it was Hudson Taylor who said, God has brought me thus far, and He will take care of me for the future too. And that's the hope that David had. Like David knew one thing. It is nothing to fear because that position was given by God. And thirdly, in the same verse, part B, it says, God expanded his kingdom. It says, and let's read it. Okay, and he had exalted his kingdom for the sake of his people. God, David also understood, God expanded his kingdom for the sake of his people. He understood 
He was just a servant serving God's people. That's amazing. That's why God established him. God established him so that he would serve his people. Because God cares for his people. You see throughout the Bible, God cared for the people. When the Egyptians cried in, in the Exodus, book of Exodus, God raised up Moses. When, 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 when the walls of Jerusalem were broken, God raised up Nehemiah to rebuild the walls of, temple, walls of Jerusalem. When, when, when God knew that the, God cared for the Gentiles, in fact, God raised up Paul to preach to the Gentiles. And today, God establishes, like God, God is the one who raises up, expands his kingdom for the sake of his people. And so that we could be servants. Today, wherever our churches are, whether Greater Grace or any other church, is an answer to somebody's cry. Because somebody prayed and God heard their prayers and we are there because of God put us there because of them because God cares for them and this is so important David understood this kingdom is for the sake of service towards the people and fourthly we also see in verse 19 David knew that the only way he can win the battles is through prayer in fact he says he inquires of the God for the battle against the Philistines it's so important David David, he knew all the battles and all that he went through, he knew that the only way he can come out victorious is through prayer. In Jiklag, we know the story in 1 Samuel chapter 30, 30, 31, we see that what happened in the Jiklag when all went against him, his own mighty men ready to kill him. He went inside and he prayed and he inquired of the God and he encouraged himself in the Lord. And that's so important, David understood the power of prayer. And as believers, we could grow in our walk with God in prayer. Trust Him. Because our victories doesn't come by, by, by anything but only through prayer. And David understood this great lesson. And he inquired of the Lord for everything in prayer. And he saw the greatest results in his life. That's why I believe these could be some of the reasons that God called him a man after his own heart. Because Lord God was, he understood the four lessons. Let's repeat it again. Lord God was with him and today the God is with us. Number two, David knew that where he is today is because of the Lord. Like, like where we are today, it's God who brought us thus far. Number three, God expanded this kingdom for the service of the people. You know, that's so important. Like God puts us in positions for that we could serve people. Third, fourthly, David knew the only way to win battles is through prayer. Amen? Amen.